Ladies and gentlemen, it is a beautiful day today here in the heart of Country Coach territory. And today we found a Country Coach Affinity 700 series. And today we found two of the most knowledgeable Country Coach people out there. How you doing today, guys? Good, good. A lot of you have seen uh, Terry Smith in former videos. Today we have Mike here. Mike, what's your uh, background, sir? Well, I started in the motorhome business uh, 33 years ago, boat and motorhome, and, and I was right here when this coach was built. It, it's just fabulous how they did it. That building actually right over there was uh, the sales and marketing department for Country Coach. So when you had potential customers that wanted to come in and order a coach specifically, they would go in there, we would meet with the interior designers and the paint guys, and they would custom build them a coach. Now on these affinities here, there's very much similarity to a magnet, which is one step below. There's only three things that really make an affinity an affinity. Number one is they put those bus style windows in, which gave it a really good Prevo kind of look. Then also that stainless steel band down at the bottom, which you see they also painted over. And the other thing is no affinities ever painted the same which makes this a unique one-off only coach. As a matter of fact, uh, about a month ago, I was in the, an RV park and I looked at one of these and uh, I go, I sold that coach brand new. And I could tell because it had certain swirls on it and it was an R, but you really couldn't tell for the next owner that that was an R. But I went up to this coach and the gentleman who owned it now was walking out of the motorhome, and uh, I said, hey, I go, I sold this coach brand new. He goes, really? And I told him, that that is an R and he goes he heard that and his last name started with an R too so it's just kind of neat seeing the co coaches around again from day one yeah that, that's very cool to see the different stories on the different coaches now this is a stag's leap floor plan and Terry I think you just uh, bought a country coach affinity for yourself as your personal coach yep not quite like this one ours <laughs> is an 02 40 foot with a tag axle now this is a 2007 Stag's Leap floor plan. What yep. is the story on this coach? This is a 45 footer and it's got the 600 Cummins ISX in it. So that's the most horsepower that you could get then at this time. Well, let's, let's take a look at this coach. I think there's a lot of uh, information that both of these gentlemen can share with us today. This was a one owner coach. And wait till you see the floor in here. He had all the flooring taken out, had because he wanted wood floor, engineered wood flooring in it. And so he took out all the original flooring, took out the heat mat that was underneath for the heated floor, and put in special heated floor mat that would work underneath wood, because most of it has to be underneath tile. And then he had all new wood put in, engineered hardwood flooring throughout the coat so that's pretty special and you're looking at about 25,000 and up to do something like that wow wow well I'll tell you what let's take a look inside of this coach and in a moment I want to come back outside and go through the bays and we will uh, talk more about the Dynamax chassis but let's take a look inside <laughs> this is part of what they did this wood across here okay and Go on in and you'll see for yourself what a beautiful floor it has. Yeah, this is absolutely stunning with the bus style windows. Mike, what's all uh, going on in this coach, sir? Well, the big thing on this one is that hardwood floor. I've never seen anybody attempt to put uh, the heat mat underneath wood. It's just a really classic looking motorhome. This is the Stag Sleep floor plan. And I don't know if I've seen another country coach with this booth style seating over here. Yeah. Huge recliner, extra dinette, very rich colors inside of this coach. So Terry, you've seen a lot of coaches. This is probably one of the nicer coaches you've had on your lot here. Yeah, it sure is. We're real pleased to have this one to show. Yeah, so what's all going on in here, sir? Well, it's got electric window shades, electric on window awnings, electric patio awnings, and uh, this thing, new. here's the build sheet on it. The build sheet, this one was, uh, just under eight hundred thousand wow. dollars and the mileage on it is thirty nine thousand miles okay so yeah so okay. barely broken in yeah very low mileage and i love the beautiful work on the ceiling it's almost like a a linen color now these aesthetics here on the ceiling What's all going on up here, Mike? Well, it's not only visually appealing, but it actually works better. It works like an air conditioning plenum. You know, most motorhomes have uh, vents all the way down the coach. Well, this hides it, and all your air conditioner comes out a lot more evenly 
throughout the coat. So it's not only really good looking, but it also is functional. Well, and then when the slide rooms come in too, you've got you know air flowing down the center aisle Still of the coach. Goes down the center aisle. Country Coach has done a lot of traditional things. This has always been a Country Coach thing. They give you a crystal and that comes right from the factory. And then also the stained glass that's in this coach. This is actually done by a local company that's still in existence here in Eugene. Well, Eugene's a couple miles south, but um, if somebody needed a replacement or they broke that, um, that company can still make it. What's some of the other uh, cool features on this coach, Terry? Well, like I said, the flooring. Now, they didn't do the bedroom. They left carpet in the bedroom, but... Uh... Yeah, it's just uh, they left a lot of stuff in the coach because they're not going to be able to travel anymore. And so um, you see a few of the things sitting out, but there's still a lot of things in the cabinets and cupboards and stuff to help people uh, be ready to hit the road with this unit. Yes, sir. You buy a toaster and we'll throw in a motorhome. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> yeah, so on this build sheet here, I, I always enjoy looking at these. So this is the Stag Sleep 45-foot quad slide, 600 horsepower ISX pre-DEF. Now, Terry, you were telling me earlier... That's the options. That engine was an $11,000 upgrade from the 525 Cat C13. Wow. So the options added up to $65,000. And that's not counting this engineered hardwood flooring that they had put in here with the heat underneath it. Yeah. Now, Terry, you were mentioning earlier there's some advantages to this 07 over some of the other coaches out there. Yeah, 07 is the last year without the pollution stuff that they had to put on the uh, particulate filter. And so um, 07 to 08, there was a big change made there. And then there was the death happened in 2010. But by then, Country Coach was done. And so uh, that doesn't really affect the Country Coaches. But the particulate filter, exhaust regeneration came along in 2008 yes sir and when i look closer at like the backsplash of this coach everything is really high-end like we would see in a high-end motorhome today what was some of the differences between an affinity and some of the lower level uh country coaches Go ahead, Mike. well um the magna and the affinity have the same body construction all the guts of it are the same there's three main differences between the uh, affinity and the magna um First of all, these windows are a bus style window as opposed to a motorhome window that opens like this. There's a stainless steel band on the bottom. The body's the same, but on all the affinities, every coach uh, paint job is custom. So you'll never see another coach like this. Yeah, so and then the Magna uh, affinity being at the same level, what's the Magna affinity lines gonna have that like an Intrigue or, or coaches below would not have? They, they have the larger engine and always have the larger transmission. Now at the end, some of the Intrigues had a larger engine and transmission also. But see, there's kind of three groups of country coaches. You had the Tribute and Inspire that came out in 04, and uh, those are the same chassis. Then you had the uh, Intrigue and the Allure, which uh, is heavier chassis and more deluxe, built in a different part of the plant. And then you have the Magna and Affinity. So those, those are related, call them brother, sister coaches or, or close cousins, whatever. So three different levels of chassis that they had. Okay, and this is, so this is gonna be Allison 4000 transmission, mm -hmm. Dynamax chassis, all the, all the heavy duty equipment in this coach. Yeah, and this of course is a 45 footer, yeah. so they could get a lot of stuff in it. Yes, sir. Well, let's keep looking around here. What's all going on in the galley here? Well, you've got hard surface countertops. This is an Advanium oven, and they're kind of unique because they cook three ways. It's got uh, microwave, convection, and infrared uh, cooktop. So that was a big deal. Uh, the cabinetry is stained cherry on this. It's cherry. Yeah, mm -hmm. cherry, um, which is very appealing. You mentioned the backsplash before. Now, the people who ordered this coach, unless it was a dealer, they actually sat down and went through tile, went through wood, went through the leather, um, and the whole design of this coach. So you, on an Affinity, you can pick all your different colors. It's just a neat original yeah, motor. The Magna, they had set ones that you picked right. from, right? But yep. on these, a lot more flexibility in customizing the interior. And how many owners does this particular owner. coach, this is a one owner coach. Do you know if it was stored indoors? It's it was. Definitely yeah. has that appearance of a, I didn't see any paint checking, absolutely stunning. But let's uh, let's keep cruising through here. And yeah, beautiful wood floors, the way they tie in with the rich cabinets and then the, is that a residential refrigerator? Yes. And yeah. nice. That's an Amana. And this is kind of nice here too. If you look on this side, 
When it slides out, you can get into it this way. When you're on the road, you can get into it that way. Oh, I so, like that. Yes, sir. Purpose. Nice. And this this is uh, just when it slides out in yeah. this compartment. All like new condition. You can tell that this coach has been very well cared for. Warm pantry. In floor heat. This is the living room. This is the ba kitchen bathroom area. Then that you got three heat pumps on the roof. And all your breakers and your 12 volt fuses are in here. The bathroom goes out with the bedroom slide, so it makes a really large bathroom when you run this slide out. It's yeah. got a king bed in it. Everyone's oh. asking me for a king bed. We get very few, but this one has the king bed and still has lots of room for your CPAP machine. Yeah, and this bathroom is very large with a good size radius shower, and I like that pattern with the frosted glass there. That same beautiful tile work like we saw in the kitchen. Super nice coach. Nice little laundry hamper, adjustable shelving, and everything is just super clean. Is this the uh, uh, shade controls here, yeah. power yeah, shades yeah, back here? Uh -huh. You can open or shut all of them or one at a time. And then here, this also has the IntelliTech lighting for when you hold it. See, it gets dimmer or brighter yes, by sir. holding it. There's about six different levels of brightness depending on how long you hold it down. I'm doing the same thing with these up here now. And then you got the rope lighting, which gives you a little light at night where you can see your way around without glaring in your eyes. Yeah, combo washer, dryer, and I always like that ironing board that will actually plug into the kitchen the up there. Yeah. yeah, yeah, beautiful doors too with that uh, mirrors inlaid into the wood. and. Yeah, you all lit up there, extra shelving above your wardrobe. This becomes a double pocket door when the slide goes out. And when the slide comes in, it's a single pocket door. Okay, yeah, and a very wide opening from the bedroom into the bathroom just gives it a very nice open feel. You got full length mirrors there. And when you open and close those doors, I can just hear the quality. It's all very high quality stuff. Solid wood. No uh, photo finish wood in this machine. You can operate your sh window shades and window blinds and your outside awnings also from sitting in this chair. Nice, that was yeah. way ahead of the game. Yeah, it was. Yeah, so going through the bays of this coach, I love how Country Coach finishes everything out. You can see you're not seeing the rails of the chassis or the framework of the chassis. It's all lined with carpet. You've got a full pass through bay and bay one here, as well as a couple speakers and outlets. Yeah, this will set up for an outside TV and we can put one in if they want one. Okay. Yeah, bay two, another full pass through bay with the slide tray. Like I said, he left a lot of his stuff in here. So you've got cleaning stuff in here, just a variety of miscellaneous items in the cupboards as well as down below. Look at that battery bank for your house batteries. Yeah, all super These clean. AGM, six of them. Yes, sir. Normally they had four, this one has six. And those are 8Ds, so they're huge batteries. Yes, sir. Well, here, let me roll out this tray. Yep. There we go. They're heavy. Yeah, they've got the manual pull-out tray. Look at the size of those huge batteries. The date is uh, 2019. August, August of 19. Uh -huh. This bay is super clean and going back into this third uh, pass-through bay, this is some of the stuff that the uh, previous owner left behind. A little footstool. We're going to clean that up. A little bit of a smudge on the carpet there. Yeah. If we can't clean it up, we just put a new carpet in. Yeah, these wheels are just popping. You can tell they've been freshly polished. And do you know what the date codes are on the tires? Yeah, the date codes are old. <laughs> so, uh, but yet there's a lot of tread on there. There's a... Uh, at least 60% of the tread left on them, but uh, we don't go by the tread, we go by the age, so this includes all brand new tires. Now, some people want Toyos, some people want Michelin, so a lot of times we wait until we have the buyer and see if they have a preference, and then we get the tires put on. So brand new tires come yeah. at that price. And if we put tires on and we have the coach for six months, now the tires are already six months old, and usually they're six months old by the time the tire shop gets them from the manufacturer, so uh, we like to wait as long as possible before we put the tires on that way they're fresher yeah i respect that and i love all the detail work that country coach does like you can see the paint job flows through these window awnings here even those gold pinstripes and this is just a stunning color combination with the white, black, gold, and silver. What's going on back here? It includes a complete fresh service on everything. Okay, so yeah. fully serviced at yeah. Oregon Motor Coach Center. And then so we got our chassis batteries here. What's all going on in this bay? You got your uh, 
fuel filter? Or? This is a reservoir for extra oil. So to add oil, it holds eight quarts. So there's eight, seven, six, five, four, so on. And so there's a switch here. And you flip that switch and it pumps the oil right from this reservoir into the engine. So usually you add oil when you're down a gallon. Is that the add mark? And so one gallon would be down to here, and then if you needed to add another gallon down to here. But usually in 15,000 miles, you're down about a gallon. And so rather than put a gallon in there, just get the oil changed again. Yes, sir. Yeah, they say 15,000 miles or once a year, uh, whatever occurs first. So. Okay. And I love how this is all chromed out here, these uh, fins that go into the engine bay. And there's a look at that Cummins ISX, 600 horsepower. Pre DEF, pre particulate filter. It's a toolbar. Okay. That's how big that reservoir is for your coolant. Nice. And so, Mike, the Country Coach chassis. Um, what's what's special about the Country Coach chassis, and, and what makes it different from other motorhomes? Well, it's uh, the main thing is the reason why they got the name is it's called a Dynamax chassis, and they were the only manufacturer to build the chassis, and then they drive the chassis without a house on it into a room that was down the street. And the engineers would dial it in sync and link with all the wiring, fire up the engine, put the drive axle on a roller, and then it, it would simulate going up a hill. And then they had a big tank next to it, it was full of water. They would lower this water, which would put pressure on that roller. So you can actually see the motorhome downshift with the, without a house on it. And then the engineers would make sure that chassis is perfectly good and before they ever put a house on it. And nobody else ever did that. And uh, when they did design their own chassis, they said, what's the best driving thing in the world? And it's a Prevo bus built in Quebec. That's a 65 passenger, 3 million mile Greyhound bus. That's what it's supposed to be, even though people make bus conversions. Um, and that's got large inboard airbags, independent front suspension, and semi-monocoque, meaning when they put the house onto the chassis, it's uh, bolted on and becomes one piece monocoque. So that's the... That makes this chassis very special. Yes, sir. So they were uh, they were trying to chase Prevo a little bit when they were building their chassis. I think so. Yeah. Yes, sir. Yeah. Copy the best. Yeah. Exactly. Absolutely. Well, so. Country Coach did do some Prevo conversions. Yes, sir. Bring yep. in the Prevo shell and did uh, made a motorhome out of them. It was actually located where um, Oregon Motor Coach Center is now, and so it's totally dialed in for motorhomes, and that's where they did their conversions. The uh, shell would come in from Quebec, and then Country Coach would dial it in and make it into a motorhome. Oh, nice, nice. And some of the team at OMC were some of the same team that built those those coaches new? That's the great thing about their service department is the guys that are working on your coach are a lot of the same guys that built them. So you're, you're not paying five, five uh, hours of labor for a guy scratching his head he pretty much knows what the issue is going to be a lot of value to that omc is a great resource here in lane county oregon and uh what else is going on terry well stainless steel in your bay instead of fiberglass and then uh, access to your water filters in there and your water pump and just real clean and sanitary you got to your clean your hands and uh spray spray your dog down with or clean your hands or clean your sewer that's uh your sewer dump right there and i believe does this one have a macerator in it yeah there's a macerator hose that they're they have in here at night you can hold it over the fence and fertilize your neighbor's flowers <laughs> yeah, and they wonder why their flowers are growing so fast you can hook a garden hose to this and keep on do your neighbor's neighbor if you want to. So, but don't get into a water fight no <laughs> sir no so it's got a little sewer hose storage there so this looks like the big aqua yeah, hot it's the big baby 50,000 btu aqua hot Does that run the heated floors as well no heated floors that's the biggest misconception out there is people think heated floors in motorhomes is hydronic is heated by the boiler and i haven't had one yet that was it's all electric it's 110 electric you have to be running the generator or be plugged in and it usually takes an hour or so for the heat to start radiating up through the flooring but uh yeah heated floors in these motorhomes is always 110 electric and you know terry i've heard you know country coach reps can put all of their weight on on these doors is that true that these doors are strong enough to hold the 
killed me. Yeah. 190 pounds. <laughs> it didn't even budge it. Yeah, and I like, you Mike, know. Mike, what do you weigh? You want to see if we'll two, hold? 260. 260. It, it depends on the rep, with the, you know. So in my case, I probably don't want to do it. You can see how thick that is. That's got to be close to like two and a half, three inches thick. And, insulated. To, yeah. And there's, uh, there's a heat zone. Of course, this is right next to your water bay. So just this boiler being on, either electric or diesel, generates enough heat to keep your uh, holding tanks from freezing because that's your holding tank compartment in behind those panels so you don't it have to get really cold for several days before you'd have to worry about anything freezing up on these and this, this is what always sold country coaches too at the show when this coach was new you had and it's just like a car door yes and, sir and then they've done really clever things too like this is a panographic bus style door and since there's no slide out over here you don't have to uh, lift like this door so it comes straight out and you don't have to duck underneath it. Yeah, very well thought we out. We have a little touch up here to do. There's a little light surface for us where that the black is right along the bottom just barely on the surface so we're going to clean all that up and uh, reprime it and paint it. That'd be preventative. You don't want it you know, to go further but uh, that does need to be done. Yeah, all the look at the other sides of those pass-through bays. What's going on up here, sir? Well, that's your hydraulics for your slides. And one thing I might point out, some people their slide won't work. So what I have people do is one person go inside and hold the button for the slide and the other one take a screwdriver and uh, in my coach I put a jumper here with a switch on it that goes to here. So this solenoid, if that doesn't work, you can bypass directly from here to here and while they're holding the button and that'll run the slide. So oh, a lot of times cool. that'll solve your slide problem. So you go from the, the wire this this wire here which comes from your battery right here directly to your motor and you're skipping this solenoid and you're skipping this solenoid because either one of those if if they don't work then the slide's not going to work from the button inside so again just take across these two terminals with a screwdriver or something heavy metal and uh well somebody holds the slide button and that will run your slide either out or in nice that's a good little tip there I've done it, I can't say how many times. So I bet. It's really good for people to know. It saves them a lot of grief when they're in a the campground, they can't get their slide in. Hey, you could see the chrome mirrors are in excellent condition. You could really tell this is a coach that's been well cared for and really good condition. And right now, Terry's bringing out that big Onan 12.5 diesel generator. Looks like it's only got 587 hours on it, barely broken in, all super clean. and. Very smooth how that generator bay comes out. No binding. Makes it real easy to get to your headlights to do any adjustments. They're all right there. Well, what a cool opportunity for a Country Coach Affinity Stag Sleep floor plane. Now, if someone's a serious buyer, who should they get a hold of? Uh, go ahead and call Mike. Mike's going to be available all the time. I'm, I'm going to be coming and going. Uh, we're going to take a little bit of time off here over the next month. And so uh, Mike would be the one to get a hold of. Yeah, sounds good. Uh, Mike, what's the best way to get a hold of you, sir? Uh, you can call Oregon Motor Coach Company. Awesome. Well, thank you guys for showing us around this beautiful Country Coach Affinity. I greatly appreciate you guys and the team at Oregon Motor Coach Center. I also greatly appreciate all of you out there on YouTube subscribing to the channel and liking these videos. I hope you're all having a great day. Thanks again. Oh, and, and thank you so much, Andrew, for all that you do for the education educating people in the RV industry nationwide. I appreciate you guys. Thanks again. <laughs>